What is going on guys? Andy Gabs back for another video. Today, myself, Kelsey and Scarlett are here at the Alario Center, uh, pronunciation might have been wrong there, in West Wego, Louisiana, and it is the Herps Reptile Show today. Um, so it's my first reptile show out here in Louisiana. Kind of excited, very curious to see if it's gonna be, <clears throat> if it's gonna be on the same scale as like the San Diego Pomona shows. Uh, but yeah, we are walking in now, so like I said, hopefully it's just, it's uh, hopefully it's pretty good. I told Kelsey that I'm more than likely gonna get a tarantula today. She doesn't approve, but it just might happen. So we're gonna start off the reptile show with something that is not really reptile related, but it is GBG Exotics. Um, has some stuff that I'm, I'm pretty much in love with, and Kelsey is too, I don't think she'll admit it. But there's a bunch of sugar I gliders sugar right gliders. here. There's a couple more in that pouch right there. Just a little bit. There they are. You guys can kind of see him hanging out in there. Like They're all babies. Yeah, there's a whole really bunch right in here. And he's got these guys, uh, Coda Mundi. I've I've heard of them before. I've never seen them in person though. They are so cute. Look at those little guys. He is absolutely adorable. Or she, she, she. Yeah. Their names. Uh, this is Lemon and that's Cricket. Lemon and Cricket. Look at. They are so cute. And so you guys have sugar gliders, these guys, hedgehogs, hamsters, and mice and guinea pigs. Uh, so they've got all the stuff that Kelsey's in love with. Um, but yeah, we're gonna walk around more. I just figured I would show you guys that because that was the first cool booth that we came up to. The next booth that I hit up has Daegu's, which are kind of cool, kind of like a, a rat in a way, but he also has hot peppers. So he's got ghost peppers, scorpion peppers, nagas, death spirals, which I've never heard of that one. Um, you got one in there. Yep, so I got, <laughs> that's the giant one, right? No, 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 that's the, that's the Nagalia red. Okay. This is the death spiral. Death spiral, got it. Go, ghost, scorpion. Scorpion Reaper. All right, got it. So uh, when we go up to Brian and Noah's, I'm gonna bring all these with me. I doubt Noah or Eric will eat them, but you never know. Um, they might. We're gonna do this wheel thing while we're there, so they might do it there. Uh, he's also got some venomous stuff, some little cotton mouths, some vinegaroons, uh, desert hairy scorpions, what else? Croatless Aatrox, those guys are cool. All kinds of cool stuff. But yeah, that was just the next booth that I stopped at, grabbed some peppers. Um, now we're gonna move on to another booth right here that's got all kinds of different venomous, like rattlesnakes, all kinds of different stuff. All right, so the booth that I was just talking about with uh, all the rattlesnakes, um, I'm just trying to get in so I can get a little angle on them, but I gotta wait wait my turn in line. Um, they have a couple different species of croate list, so they have prairie rattlesnakes, um, a bunch of prairie rattlesnakes. They have a really big Gila too. It's cool coming from California too, where like you never see venomous at uh, at reptile shows, or not venomous. I used to healers and stuff like that, but not rattlesnakes really. So it's cool to see him actually at a show. You don't have to worry about getting in my way. You're fine. But yeah. So these are all their different rattlesnakes. New Mexico blacktail. This guy right here is pretty little Western Diamondback. They have some really small Western Diamondback. Some bigger ones, but yeah, so all of these are all venomous. Pretty much anything with the uh, the red label. That's really pretty. Sonoran Sidewinder. That's pretty. And then they have a beautiful coach whip over there. And then they have a, a really pretty coach whip right here that I want to show you guys. It was beautiful. I don't know, you can use mine if you want. Uh, it's probably in this bag. Super pretty. Uh, that whole booth with all the rattlesnakes, the coach whip is E Squared Exotics. Um, I'll grab their business card and throw like their Instagram or Facebook or something in the description as well. And pretty much everyone that I'm going to show you, they are going to have some sort of link in the description, whether it's Instagram, Facebook, something like that. But uh, definitely cool. Now I think. I gotta go find Kelsey, um, and then I really wanna buy something. We gotta figure out something to buy. So again, uh, finding some pretty cool stuff, honestly. Some stuff that I didn't think that I would find in Louisiana. Um, but there's a Solomon Island, right? Yeah, Solomon Island prehensile tail, prehensile tail skink or monkey tail right there. That's definitely not one you see every day but super cool. So, so far, uh, I'm definitely impressed. Babe, what do you think, you having fun? No. 
Yeah, so let me tell you guys, the only reason that Kelsey is here right now is because uh, we don't have power at our house. Winds got super crazy last night. The power went out at like 4 a.m. and we're not gonna have power back until like 7 p.m. tonight. Um, so that's the only reason she's here because I already had this day planned. And if she didn't come, it would have just been her sitting at the house alone. I wonder if that place, there's a picture of a croc monitor on uh, on that person's sign right there. I wonder if they actually have croc monitors. We'll go over there in a minute and see. Pretty cool little setup they have here um, that I actually haven't seen at any other reptile shows. It's basically like a little mobile zoo that you can go in. Uh, there's all kinds of stuff. They have kangaroos. It looks like a little fennec fox. There's a hyacinth macaw that's super pretty. And there's a little baby porcupine right here who's also super cute. Look at that guy. He's adorable. And big old macaw right here. Kind of hard to tell how big she or he is. Um, but she or he's definitely giant. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What's up? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So they're actually gonna take this guy out. Uh, he is pretty cool. I was watching him from outside. She's grabbing him now. Also, this macaw still wants me to give him love. Say hi. Hey. Yes, hey. Oh. <laughs> He's so cute. Those claws look kind of gnarly, though. Oh yeah. Let me see. I can imagine I it's that does not feel the best. Do you see anything? No, but anyway, this I got the big so cute. Up, it's his foot. So he's basically like a, a mini anteater. Um, super cute, though. He's trying to run away. I think he might have might have taken a little poop. Oh, he stepped in poop. Um, and then they have this guy is a pale fox. Looks kind of similar to a fennec, fennec fox. Um, a he's taking a nap minutes. right now. Yeah, similar though. And then kinkajou, right? Kinkajou. And then a little kinkajou. Hello, buddy. He's a great little man. He loves a good microphone. Huh? He's so cute. Got a four inch long tongue and a tail that they use as a fifth limb. Yep, prehensile tail just like the monkey tail stinks. But uh, the mammal version. So cute. Yeah, so that was pretty much the whole show. Like I said, there's a lot of vendors, a lot of different variety too. It's not just all ball pythons, um, which is great. I hate going to a show and it's literally nothing but ball pythons. Don't get me wrong, there's a lot of ball pythons, but there's a, a good amount of colubrids, bugs, some tortoises, um, different species of lizards, bearded dragons, thank you. Um, all kinds of different stuff, so really cool. I'm just gonna walk around, pick a few animals and a few different booths to highlight for you guys, just show you some of the stuff that I think is really cool and that if I had an unlimited budget, uh, I would probably buy. Probably my favorite table here just because they have all uh, different types of arboreal snakes. So starting out with this guy and a rue green tree python. It's the only one, or the only green tree python that I've seen at the show. Uh, there might be a couple more, but I definitely have not seen any. Um, and then we've got a bunch of different Amazon tree boas. All those I believe would be like the Halloween phase and then the garden phases are the ones in the back. Well, Some bean snakes. They, they would and recommend a six foot enclosure. This guy's not super now. pretty though. The arboreal snakes obviously are awesome. Um, and like I said, I think that's the only green tree python at the show. I've walked around a couple times now and I haven't seen another one. So definitely a really pretty snake. And I was kind of saying earlier, it seems like there's a, a really big market for bugs down here. Um, this whole entire booth is all just different different tarantulas, different scorpions, and they even have some um, some hissers, and there's some toads, and then a bunch of frogs. But that's kind of what I was saying, like it's, it's a good variety. Um, and they're actually about to start doing a talk right now. Um, uh, it's that exotic animal place that had like the kinkajou and all of that stuff. They're about to start doing a talk. Um, so we might go over there and check that out. But Scarlett's getting really mad, so unfortunately I think we do have to have to roll out of here. Um, 
but I might go to the gun show in a little bit too, but I'll bring you guys back whenever I decide to do. All right guys, so unfortunately, uh, I couldn't bring you inside the gun show. We did end up going right after the reptile show, but you weren't allowed to take uh, photos or video inside there. So obviously you guys could not come. I know, I'm sorry, but I got some cool stuff. So I figured I would show it to you guys real quick to end off the video. Uh, we are gonna do this in my kitchen um, too because Scarlett is upstairs asleep. Let's take a look at some cool stuff to end off the video. So like I was saying, I wanted to show you something kind of cool that I got. And if you watch the channel, you probably saw my live stream uh, a couple days ago where I showed you guys this bad boy. Uh, again, that's a Glock 19X. Um, but what I didn't show on that live stream, also Glock is unloaded, chambers empty, which I know you can't see. Um, what I didn't show you guys on that stream was this. So basically, you take the Glock, place it in, slide it forward till you hear that click, slide that forward, slide that, and then boom. So this is the MCK or micro conversion kit made by CAA America. No, not sponsored. My channel's not that cool. It's a pretty sweet thing, so I just wanted to show you guys. So basically, it turns, it's like a, it's a stabilizing brace, essentially, um, for your, your Glock. It runs like a Glock 19, 17, 23, a few different ones. Um, it's got an extra magazine holder right here in the front. So this is a 33 round uh, stick mag, also empty. Um, so you put that in there, and then you would put your normal loaded Glock, this one has hollow points, you put that right in there. So that also acts as kind of like a handle, but you can also use it for your stabilizing brace. And then for optics, uh, we got an Osprey Global red dot sight with a green laser. Unfortunately, um, the green laser is broken, but they're gonna be sending me a new one, hopefully. There's a mosquito right there. On that note, if you did like this video, I would appreciate it if you could drop it a like, comment down below, tell me what your favorite reptile was, or if uh, the, the MCK was your favorite, tell me that. Uh, subscribe if you're new here and turn that notification bell on so you get notified every time I post. Like I said, videos with Noah, Brian, Lori, Eric, all them coming very soon. Love you guys, I'll see you in the next video, peace.